So guys, the meat freeze platter has come. I'm not sure if that, that's what it's called. You got all sorts. But look at the charring first of all. Oh my god. This Oh yeah. It's incredibly soft, fatty, juicy. Here's the lamb cutlets. Oh. I like to go one step, but I like to rate them on the Adana kebab. The, the Adana kebab, essentially their speciality. Mm. It's a bit crispy too. Yes, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new episode of Halal Munchies. So a very special one because, as you can see, can you see that HMC Halal? We have just finished an event at the Muslim Shopping Festival in London Expo, and we are feeling quite. Quite hungry are we after it's funny because they, ha they had food at that event but I was just doing some work doing some interviews for these guys so I didn't try that much food so we're in Hackney Stoke Newington and we're at an establishment called Azizi so they specialize in authentic Turkish food they've got a mosque attached to the restaurant which is an amazing concept so sit back relax and it will be a fantastic episode of Halal Munchies quick start is going to fire off with the Lahmacun which is is your kind of traditional Turkish flatbread with your minced meats and your oh I can see tomatoes, I can see chili flakes, I can see all herbs and spices on that. Oh. That kind of crumbly minced meat, that kind of sweetness that pops out with the tomato sauce, delicious. We keep on rolling because we've got the khubs, the bread, with um, the hummus. That bread, incredibly soft, but you know what, I'm, I'm going to enhance it now. I'm going to get the that tzatziki. Mm. Yeah. I'm with the tzatziki, which is traditionally kind of your yogurt with diced cucumbers. Let's put some salad on there. Let's try and be healthy. Let's try and be healthy. There we are. Mm. Thick, creamy, dairy. So we have the iron, iron. Oh, that's really good. Not heavy on the salt, but heavy on the creaminess level. Wow. That is brilliant, Iran. Normally I'm expecting a huge swing of salt, but no. Iran me all day. So guys, the meat freeze platter has come. I'm not sure if that, that's what it's called. You got all sorts. But look at the charring first of all. Oh my god, the smoky flavour. I think you got your you've got your chicken wings just here as you can see just now from chicken wings. There you go, that's the one. That's the one. Then you got your dana kebab just here. You got your bulgu rice. You got some chops. Oh, I'm gonna steal one of these before anyone takes them. Let's take one of them. You've got. Uh, let's, what we're we gonna have? We're gonna have a. Let's get you. Let's get you wing. Let's get a bit, a bit of this. Ooh, the dana kebab. Oh, that looks incredible. Uh, let's get a chicken piece just there. It's like a little, like a little pick and mix, isn't it? Like a little pick and mix. What should we get? One of everything. Yeah, I'm trying to get any more. La oh, there's ribs there. I'm gonna go. Let get. Ah, oh, look at this rib. Yeah, that looks. That's the one. And yeah, we'll leave it for now. We'll put some rice and let's have a quick taste. Of it. First things first, we're gonna try the chops. Yeah, this is a big boy. That looks like a big boy. Smell the fatty taste. I can smell it. The charring's not too bad, too. It's very chewy. Very, very chewy. Boy, the flavor is on there. You can really taste those kind of subtle spices. It's not overwhelming because, you know, other cuisines, for example, your kind of Indian, Pakistani, they have an overwhelming amount of spice to give that really, you know, flavor profile kick. But that, subtle. And the taste of the meat is what I can really taste. Not the spices, the taste of the meat, and it's unbelievably juicy. The chicken wings. Oh yeah. 
It's incredibly soft, fatty, juicy. And I finished them in two bites. So they're a little bit small on the portion size. Quite small on the portion size. A Dana kebab. <laughs> Now I done a cover. Packed full of flavor. Again, same adjective, juicy. Packed full of flavor, fatty. I love, love a done a kebab. Here's the chicken. Chicken's incredibly juicy, cooked perfectly. You can therefore taste the uh, charring on that. Now let's move on to the chops. You got one here. That's overwhelmingly salty in my opinion. Regardless of the texture of the meats that I've had, the flavour is bang on. Incredibly, incredibly delicious. The bottom side of um, the ribs, you get that crunchy texture, that flavour. Flavours are bang on, incredibly juicy. These lamb cubes, ooh, let's get a close up whilst you're there. Ooh. There you are. Great, because you can see, just there you can see the perfect amount of charring, that beautiful smoky flavour. My expectations is that will be a smoking flavour. Here's the lamb cutlets. Oh. Pulls away perfectly. So the winner for me has to be the Idana kebab. Has to be. I think you kind of rate a place on two things, don't you? So you rate them on their big platter, the family platter. Even the current But I like to go one step I like to rate them on the Idana kebab, the, the Idana kebab, essentially their speciality. Mm. It's a bit crispy too. This one's for all the Idana kebab lovers. So guys an overall review for Azizi, Azizi here in Hackney. So, I think what was really bang on was the flavours. I really, really enjoyed the flavours. Those traditional Turkish flavours are definitely up there with some of the best Turkish food I've had, definitely. I think what did lay down a tiny bit was just the inconsistencies of how the meats were in the regards to some were tender, some were chewy, some were brilliant. Like, so when I was cutting through with my fork and knife, cut through through like butter. I think my highlight is most definitely going to be the chicken wings and the Adana kebab. Definitely. So guys, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Follow the Instagram page at Halal Munchies Reviews and I'll see you guys in the next Halal Munchies Review.